a gland farmer, but uh, hear it from Ekta, uh, who's joining us to tell us what's driving this 20% move on uh, gland. Uh, you know, it's a comprehensive take. Ekta, take it away. Thanks for that. Well, yes, Gland Pharma has seen quite a significant rally in today's trading session because of the Q1 recovery that they have shown. So revenue has grown around 41%. They have an EBITDA which has improved all the way to levels of 24%. Uh, the street was anticipating around 21%. On an adjusted basis, the margins have done better as well. And the profit has come in at over 190-odd crores as well, much better than what the street was anticipating. Now, you have to look at Gland in terms of the context of the recovery as well because uh, in the past many quarters, uh, Gland has in fact uh, reported very weak numbers. This weakness really started in the second half of FY22 where it was plagued by issues such as supply chain disruptions, price erosion in the US, uh, in the US markets, COVID-19 opportunities dwindling. Now, that had resulted in the weakness that we saw in numbers which really hit a trough in Q4 where the margins came in at around 21%, the profits were sub 100 crores. Uh, so they had faced multiple issues as well at, uh, you know, during the Q4 time which were one-offs as well. So we have seen a recovery come through from those levels but if you look at it in terms of a stock performance, uh, today we've seen the stock rally around 20 odd percent. It has rallied significantly from 52 week lows of over 860 odd rupees but it is still around 35 percent away from its 52 week high and it is quite a distance away from those highs of over 4200 odd rupees which it had hit in august of uh, 2021 now in terms of valuations as well it is currently trading at around 23 to 25 uh, 24 times one year forward but if you look at it in terms of peak valuations at one point in time it was over 45 times. So for it to get back to those valuations, the street says that, uh, you know, maybe there needs to be some amount of sustainability in terms of the numbers and the next couple of quarters will be key to uh, track that sustainability for GLAP. Mm, all right. Uh, <clears throat> thanks very much uh, for that, uh, Deepan. Uh, <clears throat> you know, you